Hello, hello, I am Darkness, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Michonne. Uh, when we just left it off, Randall caught up to us, and uh, Mr. Idiot did not shut the door and got his face blown off. So I just started it back up. I'm glad I take little breaks between these episodes so that I have the opportunity to reset my emotions. Because uh, I don't want to be uh, sad the whole time unless I have to be, so let's keep getting right back into it. Peekaboo. <clears throat> Shit. She did not shut the gate. I hope I get to kill that guy. Got it trapped like a rat now. Find her! Why? Why couldn't... Good, she's at least smart. Oh, God. Oh, I've got to actually look. No. That's bad. That's all bad. Let's come back over this way. How about what's over here? Yeah, no, that's good either. I'll take uh, the one near the garden. Yeah. That, sound, that sounds like a good idea. Well, that made it easy. Man, maybe I should have left. Maybe I should have left. Uh, Grant, or, um. What's his face? Ah, I'm queuing his hard. <sighs> maybe I should have left this one for Pete. Oh, never mind. We got this covered. Holy shit. Go, 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 save her, go, now. Run, Michonne. Oh no. Here we go, Pete. Yes. Oh, all this feels good. Oh god. Oh, you're not gonna beat me, don't worry. I'm a shown bitch. Uh, you don't even know. You don't even know who you're dealing with. You uh, that you. Break my arm? What just happened? Uh. Well, you kind of deserve this. Lock him in. Oh. Oh, God. You all right? Not dead yet. Uh, uh, you? <sighs> Looks like interrogation time. I'm not 100% sure Michonne actually got that in the sheath like she thought she did. Oh, shit. You must be pretty proud of yourself, huh? Caught yourself a golden goose. You think I'm shitting any eggs? Forget it. Yeah, I just want you to shut up for people you killed. Whoa! You don't mess around. <laughs> I like that. Uh, 
How'd you find the house? You know, I probably never would have. Except you left a trail of walker parts right to the front gate. Ah. Uh, like some fucked up fairy tale. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michonne. Don't make the same mistake again. Where the hell are you? Answer. Yeah. I got a few words for her. Let's, Let's talk. talk through this, Norma. We can figure it out. Michelle. Yeah. You want to kill several of my people, so we're not starting off on a good foot. Yeah, well, you kind of captured us, and we weren't involved in this shit. Where's my brother? <clears throat> Go on. Tell her. Don't spare any of the gory details. I've got him here. Then you better keep him there with no harm done. Too late for that. I want the truth on this. You hear me? Did you hurt him? You so much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic! That's a fucking guarantee! Randall shot an innocent man in the head. Anything I did to him, he deserved. What Randall did, that was a mistake. And I'll make sure he knows it. But I'll punish him, not you! Okay, 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 okay. Let's wind this down a bit. All right. If you've had his walkie-talkie the whole time, then you already know. We heard the shots. We know where you are. But if you let Randall go, maybe we can all walk away. Why'd you come after me in the Randall first place, then? Randall is the only family I have, and I'm not leaving him behind. You want him? He's yours. But then you can leave us the fuck alone. Be reasonable, Michonne. That's all I ask. We'll be there soon. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. Oh, just shut the fuck up. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. Last but not least, those kitties, too. Oh. I saw their little heads in the window. Don't, don't, don't breathe, Michonne. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as they kind of melt. I'm not letting you hurt anyone. Well,. Not until Norma gets here and I skip bare ass free out the front gate. And that will happen. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. God. You got a big hole there now. <laughs> You're not making this so, easy, Randall. Is that true? <laughs> Please tell me he's fucking with us. There was nothing I could do, Sam. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> James! <laughs> if he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. I'm not gonna sink to his level. Forget your pride or honor or whatever the fuck this is. He's more than earned being beaten to death. A girl left of my own heart. All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him or I will. Shit. Sam, wait! No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. No, I haven't. 
No, I want more people to be able to walk away from this alive, and I don't want the kids to be involved. I ain't had the bell of the bar. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. And we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. Don't. You'd like killing me. Mm-mm. Then you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You're wrong, Randall. Am I? Well, yes. Maybe. Maybe you think you can rise above all that. She has values and morals, even if she's a no badass. There's only this shit every day until you die. And you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. He's you stalling. Point, get to it already. On my way, darling. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. Oh God. Or dying. Or are in that walking purgatory. Shut up. No, no, Michelle. Don't talk about them. By the way, they're suffering. Stop. No, 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 and no, no. Mommy no. isn't there. No, no, Michonne. Don't. No. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of uh, brings a child into this mess of the world. No. He's hurt. There's only so much he can do. Guess that means the dance is over. Oh, God. No more. Yes. I want you dead so bad. Your funeral. Oh god, I want you dead so bad. Please die. Yep, that was the end. Knew it. Alright, what do we have to look forward to? Because of my choices. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean. Nasty. I hope he loses both his hands because of this. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have a purpose. <laughs> believe me, they don't. Didn't they just subtitle it's Believe true. Me They Don't twice? Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. Ah. <sighs> All right, my choices. Let's talk about this. Did you keep Pete with you or let him go off on his own? Uh, I stopped Pete. Yeah, I didn't want him off on his own. Did you pick up the phone or go after the footsteps in the hallway? I picked up the phone. I wanted to know where my kids were. Did you reveal to Pete that you were nearly you nearly committed suicide? I revealed a page. Uh, you and wow, that is loud outside. You and thirty five percent of others disclosed your darkest moment. Yeah, that's okay with me. Did you handle the radio call from Norma? Norma? I spoke with her directly. Yep. Don't want uh, Randall to fuck that up for me. What did you do with Randall? I showed him mercy. So, yeah. um, The mercy, I guess that really does play a part. You know, I have no more barking each chip, and I have no more way to try to ensure the most people's safety. If I killed him, then as soon as Norma got there, I get the feeling that somebody would have died. That they have the numbers, and numbers means that they have the power, and power means that, you know, the second she figures out that my bargaining chip isn't there, she shoots somebody randomly, and I really don't want any more people to die. So that little flash forward shows that, you know, there's going to be a house burning, and there's going to be a fight, and all that jazz, but there's only so much she can do knowing that she's also endangering her brother, who I hope loses fucking hands. So, so... Time to hit continue, which means I don't get to continue. But anyway, 
thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm hoping you're enjoying this. I will be on episode three as soon as it comes out. And uh, let me know in the comments how you liked it, how everything's going. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. So I enjoy all things that really have to are, are based in the storyline. And uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get, I love this I love this kind of the gameplay. Let me know also in the comments. I'll ask one last time in the last episode whether you um whether you want me to go back and play the other two Walking Dead uh, games because I kind of want to. So anyway, um, I'm gonna sign off for this for right now. I've had a lot of fun, um, and I hope to see you guys around again really really soon. Bye. Uh. Jesus, take the wheel. Did it. Done. Done did it.